And, and Tom, just looking at this, you could hear the relief uh, in Reed Hastings' voice on this. Like, we are back. We're adding subscribers again. Does this get them to the point where the stock market can finally breathe a long-term sigh of relief? Stock's up about 13 percent today. Well, the way I'd sum it up, Becky, is uh, Netflix does not have a content problem. Netflix does not have a cash flow generation problem. Netflix does not have an advertising problem. Netflix does not have a linear decline problem. Uh, it doesn't even have a subgrowth problem, but the street thought it did. And now it reported 2 million in subgrowth rather than 1 million in subgrowth. So now the street doesn't think it has a subgrowth problem. Uh, I'm not sure I would uh, uh, lay the future of this uh, company on headline sub numbers. As I say with Disney and the other streamers, there's a lot more to these stories than that. The problem Netflix has is a monetization problem. It's in 100 million homes when you count the 30 million that aren't paying. Introducing an ad here is the beginning of dealing with that. But as you guys were talking about earlier in the show, the whole password sharing issue is the one they have to solve here. They're in more homes than any television service has ever been in, in the United States. The question is, can they get all the people using it to pay for it? It's going to be tricky. Uh, but if they can, the, the, the one real problem they have, I think they, they, will, they will solve. So if you, I, I guess that's the biggest question. Can you get those, I didn't realize it was 30 million homes that are stealing um, passwords, sharing passwords on this. Just if, in the U.S. Just in the U.S. Yeah. If you can get them to convert, what's, what's the odds that you get them to convert? How much do you lose in the process of other people who feel like they're you know, having the deal changed on them? Well, certainly having a lower price to add tier will help. Uh, introducing that makes sense. They've announced the consumer-friendly part of the password sharing solution by saying people who are sharing are going to be able to transfer over their preferences and recommendations to whatever kind of sub-account they're going to allow people to create here and have some kind of uh, uh, share member fee. Uh, I, I can't really picture how they're going to do this in a way that isn't going to open up the problem of people who are paying looking to become shares rather than uh, full-fledged uh, uh, subscribers. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that, to me, is the issue they have. I will say on their distribution front, to put this in some context, because um, people talk about uh, Netflix only deserves a media multiple. It's no more than an ordinary media company at this point. When I think back when we were building uh, cable networks, uh, if uh, the kind of growth that Netflix has experienced over the, the last five quarters, when you add their four and a half million sub guidance for the fourth quarter to the, to the last four quarters, they will have grown the service by 14 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. If in the building of cable networks, you had five quarters where you were building uh, 14 million sub growth at uh, maybe 20 cents a sub, where you knew 80% of the people would never watch you who were getting it distributed to, uh, you'd be having a party. And here, Netflix is over five quarters going to do 14 million subs at nine or ten dollars uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, subscription payment, and 100% of the people are going to watch you. That's a very different model. And uh, the cable model for programming was supposedly the best media model ever invented. They got something much better going if they continue on this kind of trajectory. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.